Hey, welcome everybody to Tech Tip Tuesday for our 7-11, July 11th, 2023. Um, my name is Ken Close. I am a Healy World member here in the United States, and I am super excited to be joined by Jake Barron, Head of Operations. Hey, Jake. Hey, Ken. Good evening, everyone. Hello, everybody. And we have a special guest in our back room here um on who's joining us from tech support tonight we have um Dongni from our technical support team so thank you so much for helping us out tonight Dongni. Dongni, thank you for being here uh so everybody say hi in the back uh, in the chat there so here's what we do tech tip tuesday is a chat based forum where we take your questions into the chat and we do our very best to unpack those and uh, answer them to the best of our ability. Um, we've got pretty good experience uh, as far as answering and solving mysteries here. We've done lots of real-time live mystery solving and, <laughs> and fixing and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, here we go. What we can't do is that we can't uh, treat, prevent, solve or diagnose anything that has to do with a, um, a, any kind of disease, disorder, anything like that. We're not physicians here, but we can sure talk about the technology. So anything around the apps, um, anything around the, the programs, their function, all kinds of good stuff. So hit us with your best shot. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. I hear you great. Okay. All right. Susan's asking, is, is my sound on? So hopefully you I can, can Yeah, I can hear it just like normal. So. Awesome. 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 Okay. Um, so folks, if you can't hear me very good, try uh, adjusting your volume on your device in which you're monitoring. Um, if you're on your computer, uh, hopefully that uh, uh, your speakers cranked up so you can hear us. Uh, so let's get this party started. How about that? Let's go. Let's see. So anybody got any questions out there about our awesome technology and by the way folks if if you have a friend or somebody that you know that has a healy that's been you know having any kind of struggles or wants some clarity um invite them bring them on in here all right yeah we got a question from laura lee i think this is a question that a lot of people are probably wondering so what's or for the new blue analyze app so essentially what's going on with the, the launch of the analyze 2 app you know we um, had planned for it to go live on July 5th. You know, we we were, were planning some things around that. Um, and, you know, from some of the earlier meetings, some feedback that we got related to some of the, the new features, the cloud features, the different plans that will be available for some of those features. Um, you know, we've, we've taken a close look at all those and uh, we want to make sure that this launch um, is great for everybody, you know, existing customers, new customers as well. It fits our long-term plans too. So um, we're very close to, to having what that final plan will be. And I think everyone's going to be very happy with um, the final um, plan that we have for the official launch. And, you know, the plan is still to launch it before the end of, end of July, uh, but it will be next week, I think, before we can announce that actual date for later in July. But Stay tuned. We'll we'll keep you updated the best that we can, um, and yeah, it's going to be an exciting day when we finally can can launch it. the The only complication I would say from 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 our side is that you know we've been we've been planning to do a deep dive into the new Analyze Two app on Healy for Beginners and Beyond as soon as it's launched. Uh, we tried to do it last month. We kind of had to reschedule. Well, we we still have the meeting, but we had a different uh, agenda for that for that meeting. Um, our next Healy for Beginners and Beyond is actually scheduled for next Thursday, the 20th, but I don't think it's going to be until slightly after that date that is launched. So we we may end up changing that schedule around a little bit or, or we'll do a different different topic, but we'll we'll try to um, keep you updated on that uh, by early next week, depending on the, the final launch, the uh, official launch date of the Analyze 2 app. You know, it's it's when it comes to technology, everybody builds their best model, puts the best plan in action, and then <laughs> some fee you never know about a, uh, some feedback or something like it's like here's a here's a great idea, let's do this and put it back a little uh, bit. It's, it's yeah, we've talked about it on this call. Martin Whitman's talked about it a lot. You know, this is years 
in the making, the, the launch of this new app. And, you know, we wanted, we wanted to be everyone to be as excited about this and have a very successful launch. Um, Cause this is, this is the future, um, this platform and the capabilities of this new app going forward. So, you know, we, you know, yes, we would have liked to have, have launched it by now, but it's very important for us for, for everyone to have a great experience right from the get go on it. So. Yeah. It's, it's taken 10 years, actually a little over 10 years yeah. for us to move the time waiver practitioner based, you know, elaborate system into a personable, wearable, shareable system that is essentially AI driven as opposed to a practitioner. So it's taken 10 years to do that. So remember some of the, the early, well, the early programming and systems were built on that, that earlier um, technology. And now with the new app platforms, Right, the capability of these apps. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you guys, do you guys have some pretty cool apps out there? I'm not talking about just Healy, but there's some apps that do some amazing things, right? Um, and so, the new platform that they're all built on is giving them that capability. And so Healy's moving over to that new programming platform, and uh, to make you to give you the end user the best experience. Yeah, yeah you're going to see a lot of cool, cool new features and capabilities with the the Analyze Two app as we go forward in the the months and years to come so exactly and there's things you've been asking for people coming on here with questions and now the app's going to be able to answer those right there in real time so mm -hmm. you're not having to wait for tuesday <laughs> <But> <laughs> anyway we're we're gonna still be here yep okay okay um so i love this one i always i love it when a, when a question is prefaced with i know you've probably answered <laughs> this a million times but <laughs> right um so here's a good question though it's really worth kind of rehearsing yeah. the answer and it's the question is is when when sending resonance so resonance to people what's the difference in uh, between sending it using the coil um or versus just the healy so so let's clarify some of this question so first of all when we're talking about um sending something uh to anyone with this technology the healy itself right? This little hardware guy right here has an internal generator, noise generator, frequency generator, right? And it does send out a signal. It does send out frequency from inside this device. Um, it's, it's not that that's the only thing it has uh, capabilities of, but it does do that. That same frequency generator also sends the frequencies via the wristbands, okay? on a carrier wave called microcurrent. It's a, it's a carrier, it's like a pail carrying the, mic, the, the frequencies into the body. And electron flow, AKA microcurrent, remember it's the same thing. Microcurrent is electron flow going from Healy through the body and speaking, essentially speaking to the entire cell structures the, of, of the host, you, the body, all right? So that's a real tangible kind of three-dimensional um, influence on the body, this microcurrent going through the body, because it requires an electron flow, right? An actual electron to move from molecule to molecule to molecule within the body, within the body. And those molecules are, are the waters and the cell structures and the tangible parts of your body, right? And so there's a, there's a frequency on board that transfer of energy electron flow there's a there's a frequency on board created by healy based on the program you're running all right so when you when you convert that um that flow of energy from the microcurrent process by adding the coil to the healy you put the, the you attach the coil and the coil plugs in those two pins on the coil plug in exactly in placement of the wires. So now that same microcurrent is coming out of the Healy hardware device, but it's going through this coiled structure inside uh, the add-on device. There's the coiled structure you can see on the back. It's going through this coiled structure. It's a, a coiling of wire, very fine metallic conductor. And it's going through that. And when you have electron flow through a metallic conductor, aka a wire or an antenna, when you have electron flow, it, it emits a magnetic field. 
it emits a magnetic field and that magnetic field resonates or I should say pulsates or transmits at the same frequencies of the of the microcurrent and signal upon it all right so so now what you've done instead of running the microcurrent directly through the body now you've converted that microcurrent into a magnetic signal and sending it out into the field so it's orbiting the um outer perimeter of the helium okay it's 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 in a spherical directional um omnipresent it's going out and it has a range of about about three feet right about a meter it's got that range in a big bubble which you are easily within that big bubble if you're wearing the healy or somebody sitting on your lap is within that big bubble just take a yardstick right or a three foot measurement of any kind and just picture it in left right top bottom it's a it's a big bubble and that is what what Healy deems the maximum effective range of that magnetic signal. It doesn't mean that it ends at the end of that bubble. That magnetic signal goes forever. Okay. It's just, it's amplitude is lower. The further it goes away, the maximum effective range is here within us. So it's just simply changing. It's two modalities, two different modalities. One microcurrent through the body two magnetic energy penetrating the field of the body, right? Through, um, through its way of um, inducing that signal into your body. Um, the way it induces that signal into your body essentially is because the body is mostly water. That magnetic wave, when it hits the body, not just Healy, but any magnetic wave, when it hits the body, it induces that current back into the body, into the nervous system, into the cell structures. And whatever frequency or information was on that magnetic wave is decoded by the body and utilized by the cell structures. Okay, uh, Healy just transmits very specific frequencies designed for whatever the purpose of that program was. All right, so one of the words that was asked in that question was the was resonance when sending resonance. Now, that 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 word is not exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about sending frequency. Right, when when we're sending magnetic energy, that's magnetic energy. Period. When we're sending microcurrent, that's my microcurrent. Period. When it's when it when it's when the frequency that's being sent into the body matches the aligned frequencies with cells, then you can create resonance. Or when you're moving the energy of a cell up higher because of the influence of Healy, and it seeks a resonance with a uh, a higher energetic um, expression of the cells, that's resonance. But but it's not called resonance when we're actually transmitting a, a, a frequency out of the Healy. It, it's resonance is when it actually resonates with this body. All right. Um, the other side of that word resonance could imply we're talking about the blue dot, like what Jake's talking earlier. We're talking about the Heal Advisor Analyze app and this new version coming up. Okay, the blue dot or the blue app or the heal advisor analyze app. That one we call one of the scans. We call it resonance scan. Um, now, now the Healy signal is resonating with the client, um, which is created in the app itself. The app you create the client, um, you do the scans within that client uh, for that client, and then everything that's sent to that client from the Healy is based on quantum entanglement. Okay, so a whole nother modality, but amazing effectiveness. Anything you want to add there, Jake? No, Ken, you know, it was, it's always a great question, you know, to, to bring, because it's, yes, it's one of the most frequently asked questions that we get, because they're all, at a glance, it's like they all seem very similar or, or the same, but there are slight differences, but they're, they're important differences. But you can use them all together. That's one of the great things that you can combine all these because uh, they all operate in, in slightly different ways and you, to get maximum benefit. Yeah, we're looking at different layers of this energetic us, different mm -hmm. layers. Uh, and we're, we're able to actually speak to all of them. Um, that we These bodies have various fields um, from an electromagnetic field to biological fields. Uh, to spiritual and um, quantum fields, lots of different fields 
you know, you've probably just been used to wandering around this planet in your life, looking in the mirror saying, oh, that's me. There's a there's some various variations of me <laughs> when you say that in terms of how we address it. Right. All right. So Ken, sort of related to this is there was a question about the time. So how long you run programs? So the question was in the, the analyze app, you might only run a program for a minute or two, you know, a couple of times a day, uh, depending on um the topic you know there's a little chart available for the coaching module it kind of mentions the conscious versus subconscious and um as far as how many times a day and how long you might want to vibrate those four but then the question is well a minute or two there but why do you need to run some of these programs for 30 minutes to an hour or something like that with the microcurrent in the Healy 2 app but then some of the mac Healy programs for only 30 minutes so as you were kind of you know referring to just a minute ago, they they all operate differently. So there's not, you can't take that set time, you know, one minute of microcurrent, that might not be enough to have enough, you know, positive uh, benefit for you versus what's ha happening in the information field, which is just instantaneous mm -hmm. um, there. So, yeah. And, and what I, I usually will explain it this way too, is, is that um, I would ask you guys a question. Have you ever had an aha moment? Like you learned something new. It was like, whoa. You know, it was such a great new idea, or maybe you wrote, read a, a book, or you were at a presentation of some, some sort, and you had this aha moment, this pivotal aha moment. That aha moment is a thought or an energetic influence on you, and it, it upregulates your entire nervous system in an instant. So in other words, a thought is an instantaneous shift within the, the patterns um, within your mind and nervous system. Now, let's say that you had this aha moment when you were watching some martial artist break a board, right? And you thought that was amazing. You're like, wow, a human body can actually break a board or actually do this, this kind of stuff and not have any damage to the body. And, and you thought, wow, man, I want to be able to do that. Well, your nervous system is upregulated in a moment. So the theory being able to do that is upregulated up in a moment. But to go and do it, the physical actions require some training, require that information to actually start to penetrate this, this three-dimensional body in space and time. In other words, the matter of the body, the material body. Okay. So Healy works in those layers as well. When we're running the microcurrent through the body, that's the three-dimensional uh, matter of body in space and time is running that information through this material body. When we're working with um, a client and the blue dot, now we're upregulating um, in their field. So in other words, the field, they're what I call their blueprint. It's your blueprint. Every single human being, every life form, I'll put it that way, every life form, everything uh, is energy. And that that whether it be a life form or a thing, has a, a vibrational state that is pure, that is untainted. Um, it requires a, an observer. Einstein proved this theory himself, the observer effect, to take what we observe and move it from energy into matter, right? In other words, the wave into a particle. And Healy works with the wave, right? The energy field of you so that it changes your blueprint in the quantum field and that happens in an instant so when you vibrate a frequency or send information into your field you don't have to do it for an hour you don't have to do it for 30 minutes you don't even have to do it for a minute to be honest with you it happens instantaneously it's just that how um how much of an influence on whatever it's trying to upregulate may determine by how deep seated that condition is within the body, whether it's speaking to the material body or the spiritual body, right? So you can do things, you do things a little bit longer to the material body, but uh, for more often during the day, but you do it shorter for some of the other things, but less often through the day, right? That's the theory in understanding how, how often do I do this? Um, and there are charts and there are, uh, within actually within the coaching program or the coaching training module, there's information about how long and into what it's being addressed. 
you know, we're talking about um, the, uh, are we talking about the systemic conditions or the acute conditions, you know, systemic meaning system-wide, the whole, the whole being of you, or just an acute condition. You, when you're sending something specific to say one cell, you do it for a very short period of time because you're only looking at one little tiny energy source, energy um, component. But when you're looking at systemically, the whole body, whole system wide, you can do it for longer. So there's more material there to inter interface with. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. So Loralee has a question here. Maybe it's already been addressed, but um, why will friends and family have to pay a yearly fee on the new Analyze app and how much? So Yeah, so that's related to what I just mentioned earlier. You know, there's a lot of things being discussed. We've had a lot of a lot of feedback and we're going to have an, um, a solution that uh, is going to make everybody everybody happy um, when, when this launches. So just stay tuned for now. Don't don't worry about anything <laughs> related to that <laughs> at this point. So more to come. More yeah. to come. More good news to come. So well, we get more clarity. And I was actually just communicating with a friend of mine earlier uh, about um, how our mind works, right? A lot of times we are so conditioned to worry about the projected future in this present moment or rehearse a unserving past in this present moment, which neither one is really necessary at this present moment, right? <laughs> so as that, when that app launches, we'll get some more information. Um, but for now, it's in the future. Yep. yep. Uh, this is a, a good question. <laughs> so there's, is there a way to turn off the loud ding in the Analyze 2 beta app uh, that sounds after you complete an analysis? Is it a freaks out my bird? I'm, I'm sorry that this is <laughs> uh, freaking out your bird. I'm sure that's not a, a pleasant uh, thing, but, and actually, I thought that there was a way to to turn it off. Yeah, you know, we we've been beta testing this since I think December or, or January it was. And we've there's been different versions. Some things have been in there that they've been removed and then come back in the some of these these beta versions. So right now, I, I just looked at my current most up to date beta version. I don't actually see anything in the settings where you can disable that sound. But um, again, this is still the beta version now and there will be changes and features um added here can i i i just looked now that I, I thought it was in settings at one point early on months ago uh, but i don't see it now so it's not it's not there <laughs> yeah um so i i just i can't say for sure but i would think that would be something that would be at some point in the near future sort of <laughs> made an option to yeah, yeah, and I, I always, I have the volume down on my smart device, so Same, yeah. I don't yeah. hear it, because uh, that will, by turning your volume all the way down uh, on your smart device uh, or put it in, in vibrate mode, it won't yeah. make that sound. Uh, but that's that's kind of a that's kind of a workaround at the moment. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, there's a, a, some kudos. Karen has said, I appreciate that Healy is taking the time to create the best app option for blue analysis. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, it's, it's always a feedback I, and I, I believe it's with, I'm working with my team. If it's not good for my, for my team, it's not good for me either. Right. So we got to make it good for the team. All right. This is the kind of this next question here is I don't think I've had anyone ask this quite this way, but it's so when you run a resonance analysis on the Mac Healy programs in the Analyze app and then run the results, does it get delivered to you via the Healy? So yeah, so when you're using the the, the Analyze app doesn't connect to the Mag Healy at all. So if you're if you're running a scan just for those Mag Healy databases, they are being delivered or the, freq the frequencies are being vibrated into the information field via your Healy device, nothing connected to the Mac Healy at all. But you can, if you do have a Mac Healy, you can find your top results for the programs in the Mac Healy and then go ahead and run those using the regular Healy app connected to the Mac Healy, or you can do both. So. Yeah, yeah. And so remember what, what's happening here 
is that the software, the app, is engaging with the Healy hardware, right? To to use the Healy hardware as the portal, as the transport system for the frequencies. So what whether they are mag Healy frequencies or uh, watch frequencies or, or for the watch program or any of that, they're still being transported uh, t through the Healy to the client. All right. And the client is the other end of that quantum entanglement, what I talked about before. Uh, so they don't need to, honestly, they don't, they don't need to be local. I had somebody asking me the other day, well, I don't want the Bluetooth to be on, you know, and they're using the original uh, blue dot app right and you've got to have the smart device and the healy connected via bluetooth in real time for that process to happen and they're like well i don't i don't want that bluetooth right next to me when i'm doing that that mode right so i said well you don't have to i mean you could take and run an analysis start the vibrate mode uh from the resonance app right from the resonance analysis start the vibrate mode on whatever program has been chosen for you Start that process and then go, you can go put your, your smart device and the Healy in another room, in another house, in another, <laughs> you can put it anywhere you want, uh, far enough away from you that you feel okay with, right? And, and the two devices will still operate in sync with each other and send those frequencies through the portal, through, he, through Healy to the client, no matter where the client is. You don't have to be close to it. Why? Because of what I said earlier, the, this is this is working through quantum entanglement. It's there's not really a space or time restriction um, when it comes to that transmission. And I know you just heard me say time, didn't you? Well, that's because some of these frequencies, when they go into our field, they may take a little time to actually propagate shifts and changes within this three dimensional material body. So this is why people may have some kind of a result a day later um, or much later on just finding, and they may recognize, oh my gosh, I, I'm feeling this going on. What's different in my life? And often people don't even think of the Healy. <laughs> well, I had this program ran on me. Hmm. They don't think of that. They think about, well, did I, did I not drink enough water? Uh, did I sleep in, incorrectly? <laughs> Whatever. No, is this Healy really rewriting your, your, your codes? <laughs> So we need to pay attention to everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So uh, let's see. Here's so, a comment. So, Go ahead. Yeah, a couple of comments sort of on some things we've already discussed. Um, this is a, it says, I like this question here. It says, how often do people tend to replace the uh, adhesive electrodes? So, you know, your Healy device, when you get it, it comes with um, a couple electrodes there in the box. And depending on how often you use them and how careful you are with them and how, if you clean them <laughs> after use, it kind of determines or how oily uh, the skin is and that kind of thing really kind of determines how much, how many uses you can get out of, out of each pair. Um, and of course, we do sell um, additional adhesive electrodes in our, our Healy shop in the accessories section if you need more. But Ken, is, what, what are your tips you have for, for extending the life of these adhesive electrodes? You see these electrodes? I've had them for three years. <laughs> I, I, and I, I kid you not, I have not thrown any of them away that I've gotten. So the secret, the secret is, just like Jake mentioned, mentioned first of all, where we place these electrodes, you know, oftentimes people are putting on lotions and potions and colognes mm -hmm. and chemicals and or that kind of thing, right? We try to avoid this stuff that has chemicals, but even the pure content um, in some things are still insulators. When I say insulators, um, a lot of the topical stuff that we put on our skin is designed to hold moisture in, right? Well, what that means is it's holding air out. So um, it's an insulator. And when we stick an electrode to an insulator, um, it gets it, it's very difficult for it to get conduction. And so it's best to wash the area that you're going to put these electrodes on. And then also, like, for instance, I got hairy arms. And so if I'm putting it there, I may not get a good contact. So you want to place it in spaces. And especially like, for instance, if I'm working on my elbow and I got a sore elbow, okay, 
Well, I can still put it in an area where I've got um, hairy arms. It's just that it's important that I, I wet the electrode. Now, let me show you. Um, you've got the back side and the front side. The front side is where you, you plug in the, the uh, wire. The back side is the sticky part, the black conductive um, portion. If you take this electrode and you run it under warm water and carefully brush it with your finger, you can get any kind of hairs out of it or fuzz out of it or debris out of it. Dirt, dirt sometimes sand and that kind of thing is a little bit difficult, but don't grind on it, but just rub on it as you're wetting it. It's not going to hurt it. It won't hurt it. And you're going to actually rehydrate that adhesive on the back and then place it on your skin and hold it there as it dries out. It don't, not, not necessarily dries out, but as it as that moisture dissipates out from under it and it'll stick very, very well again. OK, but the key thing is, is like I mentioned, you, you've got to keep it clean, both the electrode backing and the skin where you're going to place it. Not to mention the fact that our bodies are oily, right? So wash it off, then stick it on. The, these are old. They're old. <laughs> so, all right. Well, as Jake mentioned, you can buy new ones. They're not, they're not expensive. Okay. What else we got going on? I'm behind a bit here. Sorry, guys. And it looks like uh, so, looks like it's taking care of us too. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I was okay. So, um, the I had a question about the coaching modules. You know, I, I mentioned that earlier that that chart um as far as the the duration to run some of these some of these programs in the in the analyze app and the question was where do we find the coaching module so if you have um a, a healy resonance or higher you know on your main screen if you have the coaching modules either personal coach or success coach you'll see them uh resonance analysis aura and then the coaching modules there too uh, if you don't have them, uh, you wanted to to add those. You can purchase them as a one for a one time fee in your Healy shop. But I think what the the question that people were asking is about the the video that I mentioned. So I'm just gonna while we're here together on the call, share my screen and show you in the Healy Academy. You know, we every Tech Tip Tuesday, we always like to at some point reference everyone back to the Healy Academy because it is a it is a great resource. So mm -hmm. if you go to academy.healy.world, you'll see here, as I'm already logged in here. You log in with the same username, email, password that you do for shop and your apps and everything. But if you go to products and then go to the coach modules here, you'll see um, there's a whole section here on this is part coaching module, which is found in the Analyze app, but the, the video, this here, Guide Transmission Duration at Healy Coach, um, explains the differences with subconscious and conscious topics um, and how long you should use an analysis result for harmonization in the information field. So great video to watch. It's only a couple of minutes long. Um, and there's actually a course on the, the coach module, if you have not um, gone through this yet. Yeah, this was added uh, a couple of months ago now, but once you watch all the videos at the end, you'll be able to start the test and see how well you know <laughs> the coaching module. And this is, you know, just one of the many courses um, that'll be added to the academy um, over time. There's a lot more things planned for academy, not just on the product side, but also the business side as well here in the near future. And that academy has evolved tremendously. Oh my gosh, over the years. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. I talk like years. It's only been a couple, <laughs> but <laughs> but in Healy years and in Healy world, it's uh -huh. but yeah, it's come a long way. It's, I'm in, I'm so impressed with the quality of the videos, uh, the presentation, the clarity. Um, I remember first watching the early stuff, you know, and not that mm -hmm. it. I mean, it was super helpful, but it's just getting better all the time. Okay. So a, uh, a good 
good tip here or, or question, you know, it says, will the Mag Healy be added to the Heal Advisor search? Um, you know, I that's certainly a, a possibility. You know, I don't know of any sort of plans or specific timelines related to that, but uh, I think that's a logical thing to happen at some point in the future. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we've added so many things yeah. already, so... Yeah. Let's get this analyzed two app launch first, and <laughs> right. I, I remember when we were launching Healy in the United States. You know, we were going to do it on this month, and then it was not yet, and then so on and so on, and finally we got it. So here we are. We were way past that hump. Long time, long time. Yeah. So Dong Me, thank you for for helping out um, in the chat greatly. Appreciate that because there was a, a question here. Great question. Can you use the Mac Healy while it's charging? So I know a lot of people use the Mac Healy while it's charging with the atmosphere programs, of course. A lot of people overnight, they use the sleep program. We've had a lot of people with great results um, from running that sleep program every night. And, you know, if you sleep for <laughs> the, the battery life, you know, four to five hours on the Mac Healy, a lot of people want to sleep for longer than that. So um, they just leave it plugged in up by their nightstand, something like that, and run that program all night. But then Izzy had a question. What about using it for one of the programs on the body while it's charging? That That's not recommended. Um, you know, the Mac Healy's for the ones that are meant to be placed on you, not the charger connected to an outlet placed on you while it's uh, while it's charging. So please don't, don't do that. <laughs> that's why it's got an inductive charger. Yeah, yeah. So that it's less likely to be used that way. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm assuming Karen's saying, um, talking about the how long to send programs because there's a comment here that says, yeah, I wish this would be stressed more. Um, things don't happen mm -hmm. magically at one moment just like supplements diets or strength training there is something uh, the tangible body that we have to address and you know i i have a lot of folks that run a program for everything and they go well you know i didn't get i didn't get 100 percent result well it's because it takes a minute right sometimes you get uh, a result later or you have to run the program more than once okay let me put it this way folks if you've got a condition, let's say that it's emotional and it's taken 30 years to develop into this point right now, and, and you're going to run something that you think is going to cure it in or correct it or realign it within one program, that's, you know, come on. Let's, it's, this is why you have a, uh, a training process uh, and there's so many things that are that are uh realigned in a very short period of time but give yourself grace and healy um some patience um yeah okay uh people are commenting about the information on the adhesives yes definitely don't throw them away clean them up they'll you'll be amazed at how sticky they become again <laughs> rehydrate them and by the way Folks, you can clean your wristbands too. And I highly recommend that you do that regularly. Why? Because these wristbands, right? This backing that touches your skin, it's not breathable. So in other words, when you wear it long periods of time, especially in the in, in some of the humid or, or warmer climates, you may sweat under them, right? That's a good thing for conduction to get good conductivity between the wristband and your skin and your body. But you can get deposits on your wristband. So you can wash these. Just use a, a, a neutral pH cleaner, like a lot of times the dish soaps and that kind of thing, you know? Um, and just, you can run them under, under water. You can uh, just use your hands. Don't use any abrasive, anything. Just use your fingertips and just wash them with some, uh, some pH neutral uh, hand soap or some kind of, uh, um, dish soap and then rinse them off shake them off i just shake them off and then i put them right back on or you can sit them out to dry okay but do that regularly and i'll tell you some of the symptoms that people are reporting 
of like maybe a rash or something around their wrist, it's because they're not clean, right? Not necessarily because of something Healy's doing, but mm -hmm. because they're not clean and it's trying to transmit a signal through contaminants, right? And that's going to put that right back in your skin. So clean them up. All right. Uh, let's see, I don't know if we addressed this one. There's a question here. Jennifer says, what's the difference between Mag Healy and Healy Pro? Um, well, I'm assuming you're talking about the Mag Healy Professional and the Healy Professional, or there's a big difference just between what Mag Healy is and what Healy is. You know, the different, different, um, the Mag Healy is essentially one device, right? And the Healy is essentially one device, but there's variable software packages that you can put to them or, or adjusting its addition. So, yeah, uh, there's maybe because there it is can be a little bit because right now there's a Healy professional and then there's a Mag Healy professional. So they're both the professional, basically, they're both the top of the line of that particular product line, the Healy and then the Mag Healy, but um, they're they're not really connected in any way as far as linked professional of this one versus professional of that one. So yeah, yeah. The the Mag Healy is a product, standalone product, somewhat. I mean, they both complement each other. And Healy is a product, and there's various additions, I guess, between the within each. Um, yeah. But but the professional is kind of like your has all kind of addition. All right. Uh, so Izzy's got a novel question. <laughs> If joints come up and my knee and my hand hurts, um, if I place my hand on my knee, will the mag Healy go through my hand and also treat my knee? I love this question. Yeah. Because if we understand magnetic waves, I, I studied wave theory for a long time, and waves propagate omnidirectionally. Right now, we can send waves in a certain direction, but they do go out omnidirectionally. So, will they affect an entire organism? Yes. Will they affect every joint in your body? Yes. So, so yes. If you have your hand and your knee on, and you've got the magheli there, and you're doing some treatment, will it will it address those two and the other hand and your elbow? Sure. To some degree. To some degree. If you just put it just on your knee um, and then there's nothing else around it, you know, then it's still going to get all of the joints within the radius of its transmission area. Um, but the closest proximity to the hardware will be the most influenced, most influenced um, part of you. All right. So, yeah. It's called multitasking. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay, so Jennifer asks, in what sequence do we want to run the Healy and Analyzer um, in a sitting? Okay, um, in what sequence do we want to run the Healy and Analyzer in once in a sitting? So, if you're running, uh, if you're talking about the Healy program versus the Heal Advisor Analyze program, um, how do you know what? Okay, let's just put it this way. Sometimes you might get a dozen recommendations on different diets, but how do you know which one's the best for you, right? It's really hard to do that until you start doing some chemical testing, like, you know, what kind of blood type I might be, what kind of goals I may have within this diet, all kinds of things play into choosing the right diet. Well, Healy does all that guesswork for you. So when you do a, a resonance analysis, and you're using the database called All Healy Programs, it's going to pick the highest priority pages of Healy's programs. There's a, so Healy has, what, over 300 um, programs, but I don't know, 17, 18 pages worth. I mean, there's lots of pages. So it's going to pick the top five pages out of its entire arsenal of resources. And then you continue to do an analysis on each one of those pages to find out exactly which program on that page is highest priority for you. And once you do that, then you're, let, you're allowing Healy to do all the guesswork, right? There's no guesswork because Healy doesn't 
it, it does not analyze you based on subjectivity. In other words, there's no opinion that Healy is using to decide what program to use. It has nothing to do with the name of it. And yet when we look at a program, we're trying to figure out what, you know, I got an elbow pain and I'm looking at this pro arsenal of programs. I say, well, pain looks good or joints looks good or, you know, that kind of thing. And yet the elbow pain, the purpose of, or the, where the pain started from had to do with an emotional condition. So Healy's going to pull all that out, flush it all out in this analysis. And the, here's, let me, let me tell you how I do it. I will do an analysis, a resonance analysis in the blue app um, on myself using the database called all Healy programs. All right. My result, what I get from that is I get the top five pages that have relevant programs on them. I should say this way, have relevant frequencies within them. Okay. Now I have a list of five. I write those five down in the proper order, one through five. Then I'll take each one of those five pages and I will pick it as my database to do an analysis, another resonance analysis. First page, second page, third, fourth, and fifth. Now I have each page with, a, with five program listings in a proper order. So remember, I started with page one. I did an analysis. It gave me five programs that were on page one in proper order. The first program on that, on that scan is the highest priority, so on and so on. So if I took them all and lined them up, starting with the highest priority page and then the programs under that page heading, the next page, the programs under that heading, and so on and so on, I would potentially have a net of, five, of 25 programs, right? Starting with the highest because five times five, 25. The highest priority is the number one. The lowest priority is number 25. So then I simply start a regiment of running three a day, starting at the top of the list. The first one, the second one, the third one. Next day, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. Next day, so on, so on, and so on, right? So what does that mean? I've got mostly a week's worth, right? Now, now I have allowed this this what I call the recipe, this alignment of programs to run through my body. I run three a day, three a day, because that's the recommended three to four. And I'm doing it all through the microcurrent because I've chosen the Healy program, this app right here. And, and the system is telling me what to do. It's giving me the blueprint and I just do it. And then it's not just good enough to do it one week. I recommend four weeks. Because if you start a diet today and you do it for four days and quit, that probably hasn't had a big effect, right? But if you start a diet today, you do it for four weeks, you're going to see some changes. So the body is this three-dimensional matter in space and time. It needs time. So give it that time, okay? Anything you want to add there, Jake? No. Okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, looks like Don, he has, has answered, but there was a question here about, would you please explain the vital substances on the blue app, how they work? So um, what are vital substances? There's lots of different minerals and, and nutrients. And whether you're running it in the blue app or the microcurrent app with the digital nutrition protocol or from the digital nutrition, when you run those frequencies into your body, it is not, I repeat, it is not replacing your need to eat food. Okay, listen to me carefully. It is not replacing your need to eat food. However, what it is doing is it's mimicking very specific energy signals around a vitamin, a nutrient, a mineral, uh, some content that you would ingest. And when, they, when you increase the energy within the cell structures of your body around that, uh, that nutrient, you're increasing cell receptor site or upping the bioavailability of what you do ingest, upping the bioavailability. And this is how we measure the body's ability to uptake what we eat. So often we eat food 
and we think we're doing, you know, we're eating right, we're all this stuff, but yet the body's still not quite responding very well because the bioavailability in this body is low. And some of the reasons for that bioavailability being low is because of our stress load. When our stress load is high, essential systems are downregulated. They shut down. And one of the most essential systems that's first to be shut down during a stress response is digestion. So whatever you're eating doesn't care. It doesn't matter if it's organic and non-GMO and vegan and whatever. It doesn't matter. If you're in stress response, it's not being digested properly. The bioavailability is low. Healy helps to up that bioavailability by running these digital nutrition programs. Okay. Super valuable, you guys. I I recommend doing it with anybody's diet changes. Okay. Yeah. Um, the question, I had a question come directly to me, but I think it's worth discussing with everybody was, you know, these calls that we have, Tech Tip Tuesday, um, how do we get the Zoom link and meeting ID and password or is it the same each time? So yeah, we we have a lot, we have, this is just one of many calls. So I want to share something that um, we started last month, uh, but we have a new, um, so actually this is, I'll, go, I'll come back to our YouTube page here in a minute, but go to HealyAmericasEvents.com. So this is our events calendar. And any meeting that we have, this is where you need to go um, to either get the link or if there, if a registration is required, if you click on, click on any of these links that are in here, if there is a registration required, it'll take you right to that page to register for the call. Some of our meetings um have different registration process for tech tip tuesday it's a little bit um easier but you'll see here like for instance if for some reason we don't have a tech tip tuesday it wouldn't be listed here like last last tuesday was fourth of july and we didn't have a tech tip tuesday you'll see here um us so it was happy independence day so it wasn't listed there but for today july 11th there's a link here for tech tip tuesday which you can click on um there and then we also had healy 101 product earlier today, a great new series of kind of a basic onboarding type process. But then you'll see tomorrow we have links for What's Up Wednesday, Healy 101 Business, so the Spanish product training uh, for Mexico, and then our social Fridays each Friday, which are live on uh, Facebook Live um, each Friday for just a few minutes. But it's a great uh, resource. And then at the bottom here, you kind of see what each of the calls are in general about and there's some additional links there so this is the best place to go this is the most updated source for our meetings and if we have to change the schedule at all always refer back to healyamericasevents.com and then for this call um, if you miss a call almost all of our calls the recordings are put onto our youtube channel the healy world america's youtube channel uh, which you can get to directly by just by going to HealyAmericas.com. It'll take you right to this page, or you can just search um, at Healy World Americas within YouTube. But just to take, for example, when you come to this page, you can subscribe to it. Um, and then you can also sign up for notifications through YouTube. So anytime we add a new video, you'll get a little notification. Hey, there's a new video available on Healy World Americas. Uh, but you'll see here the most recent ones, you know, just in the last, couple of last week or so there's been six new videos added here but let's just go to playlist and you'll see let's go to tech tip tuesday playlist so this is all the tech tip tuesdays we've added here to our youtube channel you go all the way to the bottom are the newest ones and you'll see here we didn't have last tuesday but the tuesday before june 27th uh, that recording's there june 20th june 6th um, and one of the great things about these, if you just click on the video, let me pause this so Marshall is going to come up there. But in the description here, um, click the show more and you'll see every question, every topic that we discussed, it's all hyperlinked. So you can easily, if you missed the live call, I want to go back and just review. You can see everything that was discussed. And if you click on the hyperlink, it'll take you right to that segment so you don't have to scroll through the whole video if you don't want to watch the whole thing you can just go right to the questions um, that you had there and you'll see the chapters are available um, down here at the bottom as well so i love that it's so organized it's so i mean you guys 
Jake and his team is just amazing. I love it. Um, it's so easy to share that. And, and, you know, if something was valuable to you, I promise you, it's probably somebody else is needing that information <laughs> as well. And yeah, and like, uh, thank you. Domni put all the, the links into the chat here for Academy, for HeliAmericas.com, for HeliAmericasEvents.com. So, again, we always mention on this call, go ahead and save the chat um, next to the smiley face in the chat window. If you click on those three dots, you can click Save Chat, and that way you'll have um, all this information that was put into the chat throughout the call. If you're on your PC or your laptop, if you're yes. on a mobile device here with us, guys, sorry, can't save yes. it on you. <laughs> start start typing the notes into your phone. If, uh, <laughs> Hurry, type it in. Yeah. yeah. You can copy and paste some of the chat the chat from your phone. You can text it to yourself. Take um, screenshots. So. Take screenshots. There you go. Um, okay, so here is, let's see. Uh, here's a, what, well, there's an ask for a program. I won't, I, I'm probably not going to say exactly what program, but what program do you suggest to run on a house building um, or, or stone? So think about this for a second. So the resonance app has the ability to put in a client, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a person or an animal or a plant, but it also has buildings, vehicles, right? And you can actually do an assessment on that entity because everything is energy, like I said. And so when you put a client in, the, the reason you're putting that content, it's different for a building than it is for a person, right? There's content that's gonna ask you to put this information in there. And it uses that information to build that, that quantum GPS uh, signal so that it knows exactly what building, exactly what structure that it's analyzing. And then it does an analysis and gives you a feedback based on whatever database you chose. And so then you can send that energy to that entity and realign um, whatever's going on. And I'll tell you, I would do this experiment, folks. <laughs> if your car is running poorly <laughs> or something's going on, or you're having just some, you know, a turn of events within your vehicle, put your vehicle in as a client run an analysis and start sending those programs to your vehicle. Give it a shot. Um, you know, or, or if it's a building that's just one thing after another going wrong or happening, do the same. But that's how you do it. I, I can't really say what program, but that's how you find out what program. Okay. All right. We only have a couple minutes, Jake, already. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, does, okay, here's a quick question. Does the Maggie have a quantum sensor or so that it shuts off before the full time? It's got two sensors actually, mm -hmm. but it does not shut off before the time. Um, it's different. It's sending magnetic energy out into the field. The, the, the Healy, the only time it, you'll probably see it shut off ahead of the max duration of a program probably the only time you'll see it shut off ahead of that max time is when you're connected via the electrodes. You'll probably never see it shut off ahead of its scheduled max time with mm -hmm. the coil because it's, it's um, there's a different evaluation, even though you got a progress report, um, the body's acceptance and, and, and um, influence from the microcurrent versus the magnetic signals um, are more subtle with the mic with the magnetic signal. It's more subtle, uh, and so it may take more than one program. But um, but the Magili, it's got two quantum sensors, two Kozarev mirrors in it, which is another way of filtering um, noise. I, I, noise is not the right word. Filtering energy to give a very clean and pure interface with. Um, between the frequency, the program, and the entity or the host. So pretty sophisticated. All right. Um, one last one, Jake. What do you think? Sure. Let's, I mean, trying to get caught up here. Again, thank you, Dongies, for putting all this information into the chat. Appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Um, what do we have here? Uh, Yelena says that I was registered for today's. 
afternoon call but couldn't attend. How can I get the recording? So yeah, he, as we showed earlier, Healy Product 101 or Healy 101 Product, those recordings are on our, will be on our YouTube channel. Not They're not available right after the call, but usually within you know two or three days after the call, they're available on the HealyAmericas.com page. Yeah. And there's a good suggestion here um, from uh, Bernice. She says that, or Bernice is iPhone. You, your phone's talking to us. Um, we get email notifications about meetings also. So make sure to get on that mailing list. And then if you are if you are on the mailing list, you're not getting the emails, check your spam. It's good advice because they may be going there. Make sure you clear that um, sender as an okay, safe sender so you get your emails. Okay, um, I think that's it. We're at the end. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank Dong He, thank you, Jake. Uh, you guys are awesome. And, you know, we just keep building this model. Um, as Jake showed you that YouTube page, definitely subscribe, turn the notifications off. So you'll see the things that come in because now they're adding more and more of what these resources that are being built for you guys to educate yourself. And there's already what hundred and over 170 videos on that channel. Yeah. So, so you can get some popcorn and binge watch all you like. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for being here. Uh, much love. And uh, we'll see you again uh, next week. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate you. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Tom. Have a great night, everyone. Bye, everybody.